Foster Langsdorf joins us now. Played at Stanford for, for you know, great career at Stanford. Now you're playing for your hometown team at the professional level. What's it like to be able to play for the team you probably grew up yeah. watching? Yeah, I mean, it's even crazy to just be here in the studio and getting the chance to speak with you guys on that subject. But being able to play for the Timbers is amazing, um, especially in, in the beginning, because you see a big guy like Diego Valeri and you <laughs> idolize him, and then you're actually out there practicing and you have to realize that you're competing. You're not just necessarily a fan anymore. You talk about your Stanford career. You did it all. Three national championships. Your two final years were player of the year in the conference. Uh, so you knew that you were talented. You were playing at a high level. But now you're playing pro soccer. Can you try to explain to, to people what the difference yeah. is, even at playing at that high level as yeah. you did in college, and then what it's like to hit the pro pitch? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, in, in college, a lot of the... I mean, yes, the players are good, mm -hmm. but, and you know, in the pros, you, you know, in, in college, you might, there might be a weak link on the other team you could exploit. At this level, I've realized there aren't a lot of weaknesses <laughs> yeah. to exploit on other people. And, and, and in general, everybody's very, everybody's very strong and good on the ball. You're in a unique well. position uh, as well. You have two managers, essentially, Cameron Knowles and Giovanni yeah. Savarese. Yeah. Yeah. What's that process like where you have yeah. two different voices, obviously singing from the same hymn sheet, as they say, yeah. but to have two different voices at different on different days, what's that like? Yeah, that's, a, that's another really good question. <laughs> you guys are peppering me. Um, <laughs> it's our I'd, job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I would say, so I play my games with T2 and Cam's able to watch me in these games and give me very good feedback based off of how I play and what I do and then I train with T1 and and then Gio can give me feedback from those training court from those practices so I would say I would say and and you know Gio the the club has one philosophy you, you know the game plan is the same and how we want to play is 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 not very different and so, and that way guys can transition between the teams and keep that mindset and that playing style going from team to team. But I would say the, the main thing was, was that Cam gives me feedback from my games and Gio does from the practices. Foster, I, I look at a player like Chara and all these experienced players and you say with Diego yeah. Valeri and watching him as a kid, what's it like for you in these training sessions being alongside the yeah. experienced players and getting to learn off them? Yeah, so obviously you learn a lot from them, but the biggest thing I, I believe about having those guys there, like Chara, your Guzmans, your Valerys, your Adis, is that they hold you to such a high standard. And, and so they make, they expect you to be able to play on their level, which is really good because then it makes myself, it hold, it makes me hold myself to a high standard mm -hmm. and makes me, um, but they also make you look a lot better at the same time. <laughs> so they'll be, they'll get, they're able to get you to the ball when you don't think that, <laughs> when you don't seem to be open and it, I don't know, and you, and you're able to compete against them. So I would say that that's the biggest thing is the standard of soccer they hold you to.